Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy Sky Cobras again, and today, 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 it's a very special video because this video will mark my first time doing something that I've always wanted to try here on YouTube: toy unboxing and review. Yeah, okay, I'm very, I'm very excited. All right, I've always wanted to do this for a long, long time. There were so many delays of me trying to do it, but I'm finally doing it, and I'm starting it off with something. You know, it's the first. It's the first try, it's the first episode, so let's just start with the basics. And I don't know if I can get any more basic than this. So we will be reviewing and unboxing the SH Figure Arts Son Goku Saiyan Raised on Earth. The reason why it's taking me this long to open this Son Goku Saiyan Raised on Earth, this actually was released in 2018 and it's now 2020. We're in the middle part of 2020. The reason for this is I have a lot of toys that are still sealed uh, are still sealed in their box for two years now and i have not opened them because my room is very very clogged right now that if, 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 even if i do open them where will i display them so that's the only dilemma that i was facing in opening these boxes but now i've decided i'll just open them up make make a video out of it and keep it back in the box after until i get some display space available so anyway enough of that that's basically the gist of it let's start by reviewing this box first so this is your standard sh figure arts box this is the window window box so you can see the figure you're getting so there you have a nice picture of goku over there goku here on the side you can do it right there it says son goku assigned race on earth on this side you have more promotion arts and poses and here you can see the wide array of articulation you can get from the sh figure arts line there, Goku, just pause the screen if you want to read it. There, simple, simple, yada, da da da, SH figure. It's like, see, look how old it is. You can see how old this box is because it's getting some dirt on it. It's been displayed in my room for two years now. So, he's finally gonna be open. Here's the top of the box. Nothing here except <clears throat> Son Goku. So, him doing the instant transmission style. Here's the Tamashi Nation Seal of Quality. Very beautiful. Stick right here, more here, and there we will. That's basically the box, guys. Let's open this boy up. Here, I have my trusty cutter. So, right now, I decided that my toy unboxing and reviews will include the unboxing part so you can hear everything from me opening it because you know, I'd, I'd like to think that people like me enjoy this type of ASMR. Just hear the sound of that box. Go. Oh, wait. I think I should have opened it that way. I don't know. I mean, we're here already, so let's just go on with it. From here, from the box, you're gonna get, I think there, you're gonna get like instruction manuals, but we don't do manuals, bro. We just, we just go with it. We just go with it. So here is Goku fully out of his packaging, along with his interchangeable heads and hands. He comes with a total of three interchangeable left hands and five interchangeable right hands, along with four interchangeable face plates. Now, I don't know why the ratio is 3 to 5 in terms of the hands, but let's just stick with it, I guess. Now, before we go on to the main course, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta look first at his accessories. So, let's look at his face plates first. So, here's his face plate. He has a serious face plate going on here. Here's the detail. Look at that. Beautiful work. Faces. SH figures really just shines with the anime figures uh, in comparison with uh, action figures with like Things like MCU and Star Wars line. Here's his shouting face. This is good for a Kamehameha pose. And his serious looking to the left face. Okay, so we want that angled look. For his, for his hands, he has a grasping hand. For his left hand, and a battle stance hand. This is signature battle stance. It also comes with a battle stance right hand. Close fist, a grasping right hand, and the instant transmission hand. Now in terms of the detail of the hands, it's up here. Okay, so here's your hand, as you can see. Very nice work here. Good sculpting. That down here, and ah, because of that, we can now focus on our main course. Here we have the man of the hour. We have Goku, fully out of his packaging. And I always do this when I open a new toy, a new K-pop album, a new anything. 
I always do a sniff test. I always have to do a sniff test because once you open this thing up, it will slowly lose its flavor. Going on. So here I am gonna sniff test him. Oh. Okay, sniff review. I would say it's very pruney. Yeah, it smells like dried raisins for some reason. But anyway, here is your Goku. Here's his. This is the figure in all his glory. Finally gonna be moving him. Hey, there you go. Your first squeaks. This is the figure. Beautiful, beautiful work done. Let's look at the detail first. So first and foremost, we got body detail here. Let's focus up. Here's the sculpting on his his body. Good folds here. Here's your boots. Good color on the boots here. Good coloring. Here's this classic orange. What is this? Like um, track tracks? What onesie? This is a this blue belt. Here's the detail on the belt. Let's go get finer, man. Let's get closer to the figure. Let's get let's get real intimate with the figure. There you go. Here it is, you just smoking done. Beautiful work by SH Figure Arts, man. When it comes to anime figures, they just they just know their stuff. They know what they are doing. They cooking and they don't need the cookbook, okay? It's just by it. Beautiful logo here, nice folds. Then you got of course the ripped body of Son Goku Son. Beautiful matte finish. Nice peels to the skin. And of course the face, ah, oh, the highlight. Goodness, look how good the face sculpt is. This is, you know, I think I love, this is too much of a, this is a good Goku face. I mean, for everything it's where, this is, this is the Goku face to pose it with him saying, uh, yo, <laughs> yo. All right, now let's look at this figure's articulation, all right? Okay, now first and foremost, you got your standard head here. You can go this much looking down. And look that much going up. And rotate to the side. I think this is a ball joint, of course. His, he also has articulation in the neck. There you go. Stand, the sleeves, I, I mean, what is it? The shoulder blade fat, the shoulder blade clothing? Is articulated. You will find that in a lot of the Dragon Ball toys. Why is not this one moving? Is it stuck? Because this one's moving. It's showing a bit. There you go. See. And the reason for this is to allow more articulation. See, so you can fold like here. Whereas if you don't move it, it's gonna limit it. So that's just brilliant work by SH Figures. They really just mastered the articulation of figures nowadays. Um, so it comes with. The classic butterfly joints, this is a standard for highly articulated figures for any high-end toy. It comes with the... Can he do the cross arms though? Can he do the cross arms? Let's try it. Let's try it. And... I think he can. Yeah, he can! He can do the cross arms. Allowed by the butterfly posing. He can, do, he can rotate this shoulder. Swivel here. Just a swivel. For the elbows, it's I think it's double jointed. Yep, it's double jointed, so more articulation. You can flex on that biceps. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> double jointed, so you can get that flex on the bicep. You have a swivel on the arm. I, I think that's about it. You can't really just wiggle it like like this and that because it's gonna you know it's gonna snap the peg. Um, in terms of the ab crunch, of course, it's gotta do abs. Remember that episode where like viewers was like, Goku do, I think, 1 million push-ups? You can reenact that now, but just keep doing this and that. But at the end of the day, you're gonna get a very loose figure. Um, then you got your legs right here. Maximum, let's see the maximum range. You can go this much, right? Then you can go back that much. I think that's about it. Then from here, you can get a swivel here too. Extra swivel there. You can rotate here, by the way, the abs. Then on your knees, you got double jointed knees. So you can do that pose. You can do like a flying uppercut punch. Oh! <laughs> Snap the hand. I am so sorry. You can do a flying uppercut pose. There for beautiful dynamic posing. And then no rotation here on the upper boot, but on the lower boot, you do have the swivel, ball jointed. 
this and your standard toe articulation. So now that we have that underway, let's have some fun with this figure's articulation, okay? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is also articulated. It's part of the bell, so you can put like a wind effect on it. So here I am, gonna pose him in Goku's signature battle stance. All right, there. Let's have fun with all the dynamic poses we can get this guy on. Let's get a zoom. There he is. Look at that. Nice. Huh? Alright. Let's have a little more fun. Let's try um, this faceplate. Let's try this faceplate with an instant transmission effect. This one. Nice. There he is with his instant transmission face. Then let's have some fun posing him. Oh, let's get a stand. Double joint this. Here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Back it up a little bit. And. Nice. So here is Goku. Looks like he's in quite of a tense situation. He has the instant transmission out. That's nice. So yeah, that's where you're getting with the SH figures, my man. So many dynamic poses. And now let's go into scale for the final part of the video. You know what? I'm gonna change the face plate. I'm gonna use the favorite, my favorite. One. So, our figure Goku stands up at about, let's see here, yeah. just right about 6 inches, I think, 6, 6.3 inches, including the hair, so yeah, he's, he's not that tall. Let's see him scale up to other 1 6 figures, um, let's pull out another SHF, this is SHF Bruce Lee and another SHF the only Dragon Ball SHF that's actually out of the packaging I am not joking I have a lot of Dragon Ball still sealed is actually Lord Beerus Sama hmm I don't picture Beerus being that tall but it seems he is in the SH figure scale those are the SH Figure Arts one. And then you can also have a big boy SH Figure Arts. This is the MCU Age of Ultron Hulk. Good scaling, as you'd expect. But now let's try different different lines, okay? Let's see him scale with this is the Mafex Part 2 John Wick. Medical Mafex John Wick. This is size here. You have your Mezco Logan. Wolverine, sweet jacket here, very good. As you can see, he can, he can pretty much scale well too with these other things. Oops, sorry. Get a stand here. You can also get the amazing Revel, uh, Revel deck, amazing Yamaguchi Gwen, Spider Gwen. Here. Very, very weird to articulate this figure. Dynamic posing, sure, but tricky to just simply stand. And also, a someone who loves pairing, loves comparing to Goku. 
a lot of people it's comparable to is the Figma Saitama. And I think he scales well with Saitama. There you go. So that's scale. And also just from another line that I collect, but I also consider was here's Goku scaling to a NECA figure. <laughs> this is Jason Boyd's figure. So I don't think it's a good scale because Jason just towers too much. Jason's about like seven, these figures can go to seven to eight feet. Uh, seven to eight inches feet. <laughs> so yeah, not that good of a scale. But for the rest of the other editions, oh, you know what? Why, why not? Let's get this. I use this big boy as a basis for all thick boy toy reviews coming soon. This is the Disney Select, I think. I got this from the US. My favorite character. I have a lot of Hulk figures, as you can see. Incredible Hulk, Disney Select, I think. Dis Disney Store Hulk, let's just call it that. So, as you can see, he just towers over the Hulk. He can't even fit in the frame. And that is our review of the SH Figure Arts Goku Saiyan Raised on Earth. This is the first ever toy review. I've learned a lot from doing this review thing. It is not easy, uh, but definitely check out for more videos like this incoming. Um, but overall, just rating the figure. Um, when this came out, it was such a hit because um, specifically for the price, the quality um, ratio. This came out, I heard in retail for about $30, 30 to $34. Um, but for that price you're paying and for the quality of the figure, this is this has been known in the SH figures as the staple bait, staple Goku figure because it's just complete, you know, the, the the everything about it, the detail, the sculpting, you know, the smell, <laughs> the accessories, the hands that he comes with the overall articulation the, i think they used the new body for this everything about this figure was just great and for the price it was just too good to ignore so yeah i highly recommend to get this figure this figure is a perfect 10 out of 10 of course i'm very nice with grading figures it's a must-have guys because i think what made this a 10 is for the price because for that price you can't ignore this good of a figure so anyway guys, it's been your boy Sky Covers again. This is your this has been an unboxing and review of the Son Goku SH figure Cyan Raised on Earth. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.